。以下落嚟，我哋有请美安集团亚太区域总监、暨美安香港总经理 Anthony Quan。Hello， 我咧啱啱系大会之前咧做完呢个身体检查，我前列腺非常之健康，但我一定会开始去使用呢一个新嘅产品嘅。咁咧，我有两个工作啦，范围上除咗我系美安香港嘅总经理之外咧，我另一个工作咧就系负责亚太区嘅业务嘅、哦。咁好多时咧，我去唔同嘅地方，好多人都会问我：，喂，咁有咩好处啊？我去发展海外嘅市场。咁我覺得呢個問題咧，如果喺三年前問咧，都仲叫做幾 make sense 嘅。點解咧？喺頭嗰二十年，我哋美安開始嘅時候咧，每一個國家或者一個地區咧，佢哋都係獨立咁樣發展嘅。我仲記得我哋二零零七年開幕嘅時候，呃如果我哋香港嘅經銷商，我哋想去台灣發展嘅時候，佢哋要重新喺嗰邊加入過啊！佢哋做嘅分數啊、草嘅分數，全部係要分開嘅，即係話兩邊一齊做咧，係要用兩倍嘅時間、兩倍嘅 effort、兩倍嘅精神咧，先至可以成功嘅。咁但係喺二零一四年咧，我哋就轉咗啦。咁啊，全球一體化，即係話啱啱二零一四年都係新加坡開始嘅時候咧，我哋成個亞太區一體化咗。一體化有咩好處呢？即係話所有嘅分數就一齊計啦。呃、你 sponsor 嘅人，你保薦嘅人咧，如果全部一齊計曬落香港度計分，可能以前我淨係做香港，我需要爭少少分，我先攞到張票。但係而家因為有其他地區嘅組織咧一齊幫手咧，好快你就可以達成你嘅理想啦。咁喺我講下究竟一體化有咩好處之前咧，不如我哋一齊睇下喺以往呢幾年，或者喺舊年咧，我哋有啲乜嘢？因為一體化咗之後，我哋咁多個地區咧一齊嗰個成績點樣樣咧？因為呢個協同效應咧，令到我哋四個地區加埋咧係有六千萬嘅人口嘅。咁一陣間我知道你哋心裏面一定問：咁馬來西亞究竟幾時開啊？咁一陣間咧，我就會解答呢個問題啦。二零一五年，我哋活躍嘅超聯所店主咧，我哋有八個 percent 增長，呢個幾唔錯嘅數字啦。咁我哋四個地區加埋嘅總收入咧，亦都有十二個 percent 嘅增長喎。咁跟住落嚟，另外兩個數字同你哋有關啦，就係、是、咧我哋 BV 嘅佣金咧，全個亞太區升咗十一個 percent 嘅 ，IBV 升咗差唔多四十個 percent， 犀利啊嘛！我想問在座咧。係咪仲有啲朋友咧？係做一份 full time 嘅工作，舉手俾我睇下。嗱，唔好放低喎。有幾多朋友今年加薪有十一個 percent 嘅？繼續舉手。有嘅話，你介紹埋我。咁咧，呢個數字係非常非常之重要嘅。咁點解有咁多人可以得到咁高嘅嘅嘅？誒、呃、佣金咧，我諗喺依個 shopping annuity bonus pool， 即係話購物年金呢一個獎賞庫咧，喺以往依兩年幾嘅時間咧，真係起咗個好大個作用啦。我俾個問題睇，大家估唔估到嚇？咁依個 shopping annuity bonus pool 咧，係我哋全球運行嘅一個獎賞庫嚟嘅。你估唔估到喺亞太區 qualify 嘅人佔咗全球幾多個 percent？ 估唔估到啊？我聽到好似有人話三十，亞洲人好勁嘅喎，應該幾多啊？估唔估到？我開估啦，我哋亞洲人佔咗全球差唔多七十個 percent。咁亞洲人當然啦，我哋即係華人亦都居多啦嚇。話頭先佢同我做緊書食飯，做緊書就話華人最叻係咩咧？中意錢咯。好勤力咯，咁就咪呢個因素啦。美安呢個生意絕對適合所有嘅華人做啦。咁究竟我哋一齊亞洲一體化即係有咩好處呢？咁當然所有嘅 BV、IBV 喺我哋嘅管理業績紅利計劃裏面呢，我哋一齊計算啦。咁一齊計算嘅話，即係話你快啲可以達到目標啦。跨國嘅推薦，我去到台灣，去去澳洲。可以去到新加坡一齊推薦嘅話，所有嘅人都會計落去你自己嘅組織，香港個組織裏面嘅喎。咁仲有我哋要跑 Master UFO 啦，唔同嘅挑戰賽啦。以前我哋可能係未 combine 之前咧，喺台灣我哋保薦嘅人、保薦嘅分數全部都唔計落去，但係而家以往。由我哋冚班咗之後開始咧，所有依啲數字咧都計埋一齊，令到更加多人咧可以得到呢個獎項嘅。咁當然我哋都會配合大家啦。喺
我哋區域裏面咧，亦都有啲統一嘅 e news 統一嘅超連鎖信息。例如今個禮拜咧，我哋喺成個亞洲區咧，我哋出咗一個關於 advisory council member 嘅一個新嘅一個信息啦，亦都係我哋全個區域發放啦。另外咧，今次香港同埋台灣咧，我哋一齊。推出呢個前列腺嘅產品，亦都係一個特別嘅區域產品嚟。咁新加坡亦都喺稍後時間，今年咧亦都會推出呢個產品啦。咁支援同埋參與會議聯盟系統啦。咁我哋好多時都見到好多外國嘅朋友嚟到香港呢度咧，係做好多唔同 M T S S 訓練。而我亦都知道好多香港嘅超連鎖店主，亦都去到其他地方啊，去到台灣啊，甚至加拿大咧，去做唔同嘅訓練嘅喎。咁我哋希望更加多嘅交流嘅。咁另外咧，全球一體化啦，亞太區同埋歐洲區亦都整。整合咗啦！上個禮拜五咧，誒 Mr. Joe Boy 同我哋嘅一班嘅香香港嘅 leader 咧，開咗一個會嘅。咁裏邊我諗有半個鐘頭嘅時間咧，就係、是、解釋點樣喺亞太區同埋歐洲咧去合作嘅。咁喺亞洲裏邊有幾個地方啦，尤其是香港啦、澳洲啦、新加坡咧，同英國咧係有一啲歷史上。絕對有啲淵源嘅，咁所以我相信在座有好多朋友咧，一定有朋友咧，有親戚啊，或者啲舊嘅同學咧，已經移民咗去英國啊，或者甚至歐洲其他地方嘅，咁所以我覺得咧，依個係一個真係好好嘅機會咧，去發展超連鎖事業啦。咁下一步，我哋已經有六千萬人啦，我哋想交多二千二二千萬人到落去我哋嘅版圖上邊喎。我諗大家都估到我哋個 country 係邊一個，知唔知啊？馬來西亞啦。咁我哋咧請到咧。最適合嘅人選去解答呢個問題，就係、是、來自我哋美國總部嘅國際發展執行副總裁 Mr. Joe Boy 嚟到現場同大家介紹嘅。Ladies and gentlemen, please give a very warm welcome to our Executive Vice President of International Development, Mr. Joe Boy. Welcome. Good afternoon, Mark in Hong Kong. How is everybody? Good. Well, it's great to be back here. It's been a few years since I've gotten to uh, join you guys here at a uh, Market Hong Kong event. So uh, it's great to see all the, the faces again. Um, congratulations to Candy, of course, being on the uh, advisory council for the whole world. You get to carry the flag for Market Hong Kong everywhere. So we're very proud of you, my dear. And then all of our leaders from all around the globe that helped you guys start this country, right? Um, as international, as executive vice president of international development, I get to go around the globe and help open up countries all the time. That's, that's, that's everything that I get to do, help manage them and all of that. There's two major projects that I've gotten to, to work on over the last year, um, or the last probably six months, that we've really been focused on. And those two things that I want to talk about very briefly today, um, your leaders and other people in the NMTSS will really do a lot more coaching on this, but I just want to mention them to you and get a little bit of feedback on them, and that's our global expansion efforts, um, unifying or allowing expansion from one region into another. Um, Anthony talked about it very briefly, um, and I want to talk about that, and I also want to talk about our next market that we're going to open. Um, I think we've talked about it a little bit, but it's Malaysia. I don't know if there's any excitement here for Malaysia at all, is there? Just a little bit. There you go. I've got a time to I, let me do something real quick to, to figure out how much of a delay there is in the uh, in, in the headphones. So I'm, I'm going to say a word, and I want everybody to repeat the word "ha." Okay, that gives me a better feel for how long. <laughs> so if I tell a joke, I know that it's uh, probably pretty funny, and you just are taking your moment to uh, understand what what was said. But anyway, so let's get down to brass tacks. Uh, the the biggest thing um, for international expansion from one region to another that we realized in a meeting the other day is, and Kevin mentioned it this morning too, as we expand, we, we've set up this new system. Um, we had an old system that helped open market Hong Kong, market Taiwan, market Australia, a number of different markets. And we realized with that old system that a small, or not small, but new distributor may not have the um, the, the incentive to go into these new markets because we set it up in such a way that you really had to build two entire sales organizations and all new people and activate and qualify and do a number of different things in order to grow. Now luckily we had great leaders like Joanne and James and, and everybody else who were pros at this and built humongous organizations in all of our markets. 
But when we started looking at the way we had done this, we realized, you know what, we need to revamp this a little bit and make it easy for the, the new distributor, the small distributor, to take advantage of any contacts they have in any market, but then is at the same time make sure that the uplines still got a big benefit from it because we, we, we want to satisfy everybody, right? So if a big organization is below you, um, and, and we talk about opening up in another region, but giving you BV up that same line, it doesn't have that much value, right? So what we did is re redesign the system to allow you to do one really cool thing, and that's you place an IRC, that's what we call it. And again, there's trainings on this in the career manual and in the MMTSS and online. So I, I hope that, that you as, as leaders will, will help share this and coach everybody on this. But you place this IRC in this other region and you get one for every region, as Kevin said, one for um, Europe because we're in Asia here. And then once we open the Americas, you'll get one for the Americas. But once you place that IRC, it's just a, it's like a reentry that you place over in this other market, but that reentry can only earn on that other market. But the really cool thing about it is anybody that you sign up to become a distributor or an unfranchised owner in Europe in this case, all their volume as it flows up, one counts for that IRC and its BV banks, but the cool thing is for your existing organization, all that BV converts to Asian volume. So any work that you do over in Europe with this IRC is helping solidify your current organization here in Asia. And I just wanna make sure that everybody really grasps that because it was designed so that if you have a college friend that you still know who's you know, over in Europe, you can pick up the phone and call them. The NMTSS system allows for you to plug them in, utilize our system with Phil Guido. We've got great stuff going on in, in England, in Scotland, Spain. Joanne, you've got a huge group in Spain. I mean, there's lots of great stuff to connect to. Um, so take a look at that system and really, re really dig into it because I think you'll find that you're probably missing some opportunities. And again, anything you do today with that center and that, that, that growth is gonna help down the road. You don't have to become you know, the king of Europe to be able to utilize this. It's a matter of just getting that ball rolling and, and, and starting the process there. So I implore you to take a look at that. Um, Kevin will probably talk about it more, as I said, and look forward to having you guys expand into Europe. So who's gonna give that a shot? Good deal. All right, good deal. Because I have to go back because JR has been blowing up Kevin and I's email about this. Um, he said, make sure you hit that. Make sure you hit that. So I really, can, can I tell him that you guys are all going to give it a shot? All right, good deal. And this is, I think, all recorded anyways or meet on or something. So he'll probably be watching this and just to double check that we actually did what we said we do. So, you know, it's all about duplication anyways. Um, so the second big thing, where are we going next? Um, Malaysia, Mark actually introduced it while we we're down in Miami. Um, that's our next big market. Um, we've started that process. Um, one interesting thing about Malaysia, as you may or may not know, um, everything there is pretty much Islamic. And so the halal certification is very, very important for any product that you're gonna sell there because basically, well, it, it, it's very, very important. So we started that process back in Greensboro, um, and we've hired a consulting firm. It's called Enfanca. It's the largest certifying entity to certify halal products. So they've started that process with all of our product managers. Marty and myself are working with them, making sure that's moving forward. Once that piece is done, that's our biggest hurdle. Once that piece is done, then we start the process within Malaysia itself. Uh, it's interesting, in order to get a license there, we have to actually sit down uh, amongst all sorts of other things. But we sit down with a committee, a governmental committee, and show them the marketing plan, and basically present it. So I, I'm going to need a couple volunteers because I'm not great at showing the plan. So I'm going to need a volunteer or two to come with me to Malaysia and, and show the plan and maybe sign up the government there. Is there anybody sort of interested in that possibly for us? Maybe. Ke Ke Kevin's nodding. He'll take it. Okay, well, I thought it was sort of funny. I guess. Uh, anyways, I'll blame that on the delay. 
so the, the second piece then, or the third piece is product registration. We'll start that. And at this point, we expect to open somewhere early 17. I don't have an exact date yet um, because, again, a lot of government regulation it can be slow sometimes, can be fast sometimes. So this summer, uh, World Conference, we, or we expect, or International Convention, I'm sorry, uh, we expect to announce a firm date so that you can really build to it. I know people have already started uh, sparking the fires over there, um, you know, talking to the people that they know, um, getting interest. Um, product can be shipped there through global.shop.com, though their borders are pretty tight, so a lot of product is not going in through the classic channels of, you know, shipping from the U.S. and in there. But I know a lot of product is getting to customers there. But again, start lighting the fires or at least, you know, sparking them a little bit. Um, and we'll keep on going there. And I look forward to seeing you guys all in Malaysia or Taiwan next week or uh, anywhere else in the world, Greensboro this summer. So without further ado, I'm going to give the stage back up to everybody. It was great to see you all. We'll talk to you soon. Live your life, live your life. Thank you, thank you, Joel.